to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. Oh, you are God. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. Oh, yes, you are God all by yourself. No, you are God. From beginning to the end, he's gone. He's gone. No place for argument. You are God by yourself. Oh, you are God. Yes, Lord. Oh, you are God. upon you this morning that the Lord will show up as God in your life in the name of Jesus in that situation that is making you to shed tears let God show up as God in the name of Jesus concerning your health let God show up as God in the name of Jesus because he is God he told Joshua he said he had given them Jericho and the people of Jericho they went and tightened the wall the gates they shut the gates. Nobody went out. Nobody came in. And it was like, okay, Israel, we will see how you will come in. And the Bible says the walls of Jericho were fortified to the heavens. Very thick wall. Very high. And God came as God. God will come as God in your life. God will show up as God in your life. God said, Joshua and the elders, no problem. They have shut the gates, no problem, but I am gone. You march around the wall. The wall that they have fortified to heaven. The wall that was so thick and they thought that no power anywhere could bulldoze it without any physical bulldozer. 
just at the shout on the seventh day, at the blast of the of the trumpet, and at the shout, the words of Jericho came down. Even this morning, the words of that world, the world of barrier to marriage, to fruitfulness, to progress, to prosperity, to expansion, to moving forward, is coming down in the name of Jesus. With your loud shout of amen, it is coming down in the name of Jesus. It is coming down in the name of Jesus. It is coming down in the name of Jesus. It is coming down in the name of Jesus. This thick wall of no job, no business, no contract. That wall is coming down in the name of Jesus. It's coming down in the name of Jesus. The thick barrier of hatred being hated unnecessarily not allowing things to move forward that barrier is coming down in the name of Jesus yes the thick barrier of hypertension of uh, and, and heart related challenges that barrier is coming down in the name of Jesus it's coming down in the name of Jesus the barrier of challenge with internal organs with kidney, with liver, and such organs not allow you to live well, not allow you to enjoy health. Today, that barrier is coming down in the name of Jesus. It is coming down. It is coming down. It is coming down. It is coming down. I, they have said, when this one is there, we will see how you will enjoy life. We will see how you will live. The people of Jericho, they said that. We will see how Israel will come in. But God came there and showed up as God. This morning, in that your life, consign that barrier, not allowing to enjoy health the way you want it. The barrier is coming down. In the name of Jesus, it's coming down. 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 In the name of Jesus. And as we are going to shout seven perfection, hallelujah whatever barrier whatever barrier that be standing between you and fulfillment between you and realization of your dream between you and the mantle of the prophecy of the revelation that God has shown you as you are going to shout this same hallelujah as the walls of Jericho walls came down at the shout on the seventh day after they have marched down seven times today as you are going to shout the same seven victory song victory shout of hallelujah your own barrier is coming down shall we go hallelujah 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 ha this seventh one hallelujah begin to enter into it enter into your promised land enter into your next level enter into fruitfulness enter into marriage enter into sound health enter into prosperity enter into marriage enter your next level enter your breakthrough in the name of jesus begin to take the spoil begin to take the spoil israel entered they began to catch spoil enter your next level enter your prosperity enter your testimony in the mighty name of jesus so it is settled in jesus name please be seated god bless you it's another liberation uh lord we thank you for all you've been doing for us as we go into your word again speak to us and let your word bring desired results in jesus name we are still in our warfare series and we've taken some topics in the warfare series we took one enemies within the camp number two we took what satanic watchmen and number three satanic sellout. This morning we're looking at victory over satanic informants. Victory over who? Yeah, satanic informants. Amen. So in having victory in the battles of life, another major opponents that you must surmount, you must overcome, they are satanic informants. You must have victory in the battle of life. Another major Opponents that must be surmounted are satanic informants. Victory over satanic informants. So if you must succeed in the battles of life, then you must 
overcome satanic informants. If you must conquer every warfare that comes against you, then you must identify and defeat satanic informants. Satanic informants at times are the reasons why battles are being fought and prolonged unnecessarily. Why battles that have been fought are prolonged unnecessarily. No victory. Satanic informants may be the reason why your enemy or your adversary seems to be gaining upper hands in contention. You are looking at, ah, ah, with all my preparation, with all my prayers, why it appears this enemy is still gaining upper hands. It may be because of the operation of um, satanic informants. But however, they could have lasted. However, they could have been in operation. Today in your life, they are going to be disgraced in Jesus' name. But the word of God says in Matthew 16, 18, it says, and I say unto you, thou art what? Peter. And upon this rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. In as much as you are a member of that church, the gate of hell will not prevail against you. Because satanic informants are part of the activists in the gates of hell. So once you are a member of that church, it will not prevail against you. But you must be a member of that church. And to be a member of that church is not just to be a Christian name. To be a member of that church is not just to identify and say I'm a member. It is to be born again. It is to repent of your sins. It's to turn away from every unrighteousness, turn away from lying, from cheating, from immorality, for everything that is against the word of God. Saying bye-bye and not going back to them and inviting Jesus Christ to your life to be your Lord and Savior. Confess him as your Lord. That's what it takes. It's not being born in a church. Praise God. So once you're a member of the church, the gates of hell, activities of satanic informants will not prevail against you in the mighty name of Jesus. So who is an informant? Who is an informant? Since we are looking at overcoming satanic informants, let's look at the way the dictionary defines an informant. It says the word is actually derived from, to, from inform which means to make known or to communicate what? Information. So a person who makes known or who communicates information is what? An informant. A person who supplies information. Someone who sees an event and reports what happened. He sees an event and reports. He doesn't see alone. He must what? Report. Praise God. An informant we are defining. is a person who provides privileged information, take note of that, about a person or organization to an agency. That's how the channel defines it. Too. A person who provides not just ordinary information, but privileged information. Information that that person exclusively has access to, that was not made available to all, but by some reasons, some privilege, the person gained access to such information. It now makes it known to agency. So um, it's a term that's always used with the law enforcement agency, you know, where confidential information is made available. So this one also says that they provide confidential information, information that is private to people. You know, they don't want people to know. They make them available. Those are informants, according to the dictionary. So who are satanic informants? Who are satanic informants? Number one, they are evil broadcasters. Evil what? Broadcasters. You know, they broadcast information about a person, about people for ulterior motives, for evil reasons. They are evil broadcasters. It's not an evil thing to broadcast, but you, when the reasons for which you are broadcasting is evil, is ulterior, then you qualify as um, an informant, satanic one for that matter. Who are sat satanic informants? They are evil exposers. Evil exposers. You see, they reveal information that is confidential about people to others. Information that they were private to know. They were privileged to assess. They now make it known to others, which should not be. They do it unnecessarily. They do it for ulterior motives. Who are satanic informants? They are those who supply information about a person or a people to their enemies. So they are enemies. Information 
about people to their enemies. You know that when the enemy has such information, he's going to use it against such. You now take here, take it from here, and go and make it known to the enemies. Amen. Who are satanic informants. There are those who see and report information about a person or people to the enemy. They see and report. They see and report. Let's look at biblical accounts of satanic informants. Biblical account. The first one in 4 Samuel 23, uh, verses 7 and 8. 4 Samuel 23, uh, 7 and 8. It says, And it was told Saul that David was come to Keilah. It was told Saul that David was come to where? Keilah. And Saul said, God had delivered him into my hand. For he shut in by entering into a town that had gates and bars. That one is a message for another day. And Saul called all the people together to war, to go down to Keilah, to besiege David and his men. Praise God. This Two verses we just read. You can read further when you get home. You enjoy the passage. Some people took it upon themselves to go tell the enemy of David. Saul was a sworn enemy of David. He was bent on killing David for one reason. David had an anointing upon him to take over from him. And Saul had known. There are those who have known that you are going to outshine them. There are those who have known that you will be the next MD. There are those who have known that this is who you are going to be. And for such information that they are private to, spiritually, they begin to hunt you. They want to kill you. That was what Saul was doing against David. David was going to succeed him because God had ordained it and God had anointed David. So he was pursuing David to kill David. These people now were not told who they were. He says some people, some people, they didn't tell us who they were. So they took it upon themselves to go and tell the enemy of David, Saul, that David is in Keilah. We have known he has entered that town. Praise God. They were not Kailas. They were not people of Kaila. Or such that would have said, oh, David came to their land and they were not happy. No, they were not Kailas. It was not their problem. David did not come for them. He was not after them. But they took it upon themselves to go and supply the enemy of David what? Information about David. You know, in Yoruba uh, culture palace, they said that uh, if the eye sees, the mouth will do what? We keep quiet. But it is not like that for satanic informants. Whatever they see, they must report. And the people they report it to, is not, they are not friends. They are not well-wishers. They are enemies. Those who will use such information against such person, they don't keep quiet at all when they see. Once they see, they must talk, particularly to the enemy. Praise God. So these people, we don't know them, but they took delight the in exposing David to his um, enemy to tell Saul his where, whereabouts. And you see, when you, when you took note of where we read, we were told that David was, I mean, Saul was happy. He said God had delivered him. Was it God that delivered him? No. It wasn't God. It was activities of um, satanic informant. And that was why God still delivered David. Praise God. Like some people. They will say it was, when something happened, they say it was God that delivered the prayer to the enemy. God does not do such things. He's not a wicked God. He won't deliver you to the hand of your enemy. No, he doesn't do such. So, they will think that it was God that delivered David to Saul by making Saul to know. No, it was not God. Activities of what? Satanic informants. Except we were told they wouldn't have known. Praise God. So, we have cases like that where people erroneously take activities of satanic informants to be God's maid, to be God's will, to be God's handiwork. No, God is not evil. He said he does not, he, does, he can't be tempted with evil. Neither he tempts any man with what? With evil. Praise God. So, because of that information, Saul, the enemy of David, took specific action. Say, ah, inside a close town, let's rush in immediately and then close him, nowhere for him to get out. We just lock the gates. We will kill him here. So, such information allows the enemy to take specific action that could be dangerous to one's life, that could cut one down, that could hinder one, that could limit one. Praise the name of the Lord. Except for God's intervention, when you read later, 
you know, when David inquired from God, Saul would have taken, would have uh, caught him there. David got to know and he inquired from God, these people, Kaila, would they surrender me? God said, he asked, will Saul come here? God said, Saul will come. He asked again, if he comes here, these people that have helped, because he helped the Kailas, he said, would they surrender me? Because they will surrender you because of, of King Saul. So, when he made such a query, David packed his things immediately. He ran. Praise God. The Lord will deliver you like that in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's go down to the same 1 Samuel 23, 19 to 25. 1 Samuel 23, 19 to 25. We're looking at activities, biblical activities of satanic informants. 1 Samuel 23 from 19. It says, then came up the Zivites. The Z Zivites, yeah. To Saul, to Gibeah. These are another set of people. Saying, doth not David hide himself with us in strongholds in the wood, in the hill of Hachila, which is on the south of Jeshimon? Now, therefore, O king, come down according to all the desire of thy soul to come down. And our part shall be to deliver him into the king's hand. And Saul so said, Blessed be ye of the Lord, for ye have compassion on me. Go, I pray you, prepare yet, and know and see his place, where his haunt is, and who had seen him there. For it is told me that he delayed very subtly. You know, David was very smart. Verse 23. See therefore, and take knowledge, that is, make sure you know properly, of all the locking places where he hided himself. And come ye again to me with the certainty, and I will go with you, and shall come to pass, if he be in the land, that I will search him out throughout all the thousands of uh, Judah. And they arose and went to Ziph before Saul. But David and his men were in the wilderness of uh, Mount, in the plain of the south of Jeshimon. Saul also and his men went to seek him, and they told David, Wherefore he came down into a rock and abode in the wilderness of Mount. And when Saul heard that, he pursued after David in the wilderness of where? Mount. This time around, these ones, they have names. The first said, they didn't give us their name. These ones were who? They were Zephites. Zephites. And surprisingly, they were people among whom David went to hide. He went to look at them. These people are good people. They are nice. Let me relate with them. Let me fellowship with them. And he entered into their place. And he looked for proper hiding places and entered there. You know? And um, they must have come near David to greet him warmly and cordially. Oh, welcome. And everything. And asked him a lot of things, a lot of questions. They must have embraced David, received him cordially. So where are you going to be hiding here? He, they, they were sure of the place. And after they had got all the information, they now went to the enemy of um, David. Yeah. They came to Saul and informed him, we have seen where he's hiding. You know. In fact, the stronghold inside the wood, where he is, we know the place. You can come. We will deliver him unto you. These were people that David thought were his friends, were his people, were mindful of him, that he was secured with. Secured in their midst. Praise God. You know, um, they appeared to David as well-favored people. But they went to Saul to inform him. It, I don't know. The reason why they did so, it appeared they wanted Saul's favor. Because Saul said, blessed are you. you. You pity me. And they were happy with that. Praise God. So the people within whom we, David went to take refuge. They went and acted as satanic what? Informants. You could see how terrible satanic informants could be. They could be near of kin. They could be friends. They could be so close. They could be people you go and take refuge with. They could act as satanic informants. Amen. They could be so close to you. They could be people giving you succor, giving you refuge, appearing to help you, to provide for you, to give you assurance. Alas, they gave him out. Praise the name of the Lord. They went to tell his enemy such that the enemy could pursue him at the exact location. That was uh, 
evil. It didn't stop there. You know, when they reported to King Saul, he told them, say, well done, my people. You like me. I appreciate you. But go. I have learned that this man called uh, David is very, stra- is very, um, very, very smart. Go and make sure all the different places he, he, he hides, you know. And his different maneuver. Go and show so that, and then the person that has the information, let's know the person. So that when I come, we will surely, you know, I will surely catch him. And they said, okay, let's go to chapter 26 of the same 1 Samuel, 1 Samuel, 1 Samuel 26, now verses 1 and 2. This is activities of satanic um, informants. They were not tired. 1 Samuel 26, from verse 1, say, And the Zivites came unto Saul to Gibeah, saying, Doth not David hide himself in the hill of Hachilah, which is before Jeshimon? That is, we are, he's still there. He's still there. That's where he's hiding. We have confirmed again. He's not going anywhere. They have come back to David. They have inquired. They have pretended to be friends, pretended to be, to be um, um, hospitable, welcome in their city, and told him, don't go out of that place. You are secure. And they went and told Saul, he's still in, in, in that place, in Nachila. He's not going anywhere. That is his camp. That's his stronghold. In fact, he has, the, he has that there. Praise God. And when they have made the information so sh- sure, assure, assure, um, so sure to Saul, in verse 2, then Saul arose and went down to the wilderness of Ziv, having 3,000 chosen men of Israel with him to seek David in the wilderness of where? Ziv. Yeah. These people called Zivites, they were terrible people, you know. After their initial visit, they went again and gathered information, gathered information, confidential information from David, how he tends to move, where he is staying, how that he does not want, you know, all the information that we make that could uh, allow the enemy to have victory over him, they got and went back to Saul. They did not mean well at all. Like Yoruba will say, they were both what? Rat and what? And board. Or, is it rat and cat? Uh, rat and cat. Uh-huh. No, they say, oh, she could share. Uh, it's rat and, and broad. Yeah. You know, rats come near and like that. And they are, they are operating on the ground and operating in the air. Praise God. Uh-huh. They, are, they are double personalities. They are, we have people like that. In fact, that's one hallmark of um, satanic informant. Do our what? personalities. They have that of friendship. They have that of um, enemy. They, when they come near, they present friendship. When they leave you, you become their enemy. Praise the name of the Lord. And they don't get tired. So they went near David again, got all the information, and went back to the, his enemy and supplied. Praise God. So, beloved, activities of satanic informants are terrible. They watch someone's movement. Watch your movements and report to the enemy. They watch your progress and report to the enemy. They observe your strength, your weaknesses, and they report to the enemy. What else does your enemy need? Your enemy knows your strength and your weaknesses. If he has those two, then he has you already. He has you already. Amen. They went to tell Saul, the enemy of David, his hideout and his plans, his maneuvers, so that Saul could pursue him strategically. Praise the name of the Lord. So they take it upon themselves to provide the information that will expose a person to his um, adversary. They come near as friends. Come near as colleagues. Come near as well-wishers. At times, in some churches, they come near as brethren. Praise God. And they say, how far? How far? How far? How far with the marriage? What's the guy saying? What's the guy saying? You know, as he spoken, you know, and unsuspecting people, we give, we download confidential information. How far? How far? Have you taken in? How many months? You know? And then you two, you say, ah, we are preparing for baby shower. You give them exact information. Say, how, how, how about that contract? How far? Have you gotten the loan? You know? They will be extracting confidential information. And then when they have those, they go and give it to satanic agents. Agent that Satan has contracted to say, monitor this lady, monitor this man, 
Make sure no progress. Make sure no marriage. Make sure no fruitfulness. Make sure no advancement. So their own is to gather information and supply. And as much as they continue to gather that information and supply, it makes battle very tough. It makes victory to become a mirage. Praise the name of the Lord. You know, um, I tell you the truth. They pretend that they mean well when they come around only to get information, you know, and supply to satanic agents so that they can pursue hard on their victim. Praise God. And like I said, they do it for all manner of reasons. Some maybe for uh, to gain favor, like the Ziphites, because Saul was a king. Maybe we exempt them from paying uh, tax. Maybe we'll give them some lands, you know. Uh -huh. They volunteered themselves. Saul did not contract them. They, I mean, unlike sellouts, you know, they were neither in the camp of Saul or in the camp of uh, David. But for some funny uh, reasons, you know, at times some do it for reward. They do it for reward. But their primary interest, primary assignment is to get vital information and supply one's enemies so that the enemy will what? Gain upper hand. You know, and their activities could be what? Dangerous. With dangerous um, consequences. We saw how that because of the activities of um, satanic informants, David was always what? On the run. The first time, the Kaila, he had to run out of Kaila. He went to take refuge in Zephite. He had to run out again. The same way, makes one to continually be fighting battle. You know, he had to begin to change places. Change places. You live in this house. They go and supply. This is where she's living now, or he's living, you know, number seven. Um, you know, David Street. At Okukumaiko. <laughs> you know. And then, when the person moves, that place has become terrible, tormenting. The person moves again. You know. And the person will say, Sir, we saw you. We did meet you at Okumaiko. Ah, yes, so that Okumaiko, very tough place. I have moved from Okumaiko. I've, I've gone to James Bond Avenue. Oh, James Bond. Where is that located? You know. The person will also provide the details. The agents will move all their satellite dishes and all that from uh, Michael and go to James Bond again. And that's how people will begin to move. When they get to James Bond, say, I thought James Bond used to be very pleasant. Uh, how come now it's become another thing? A of satanic informants. And people will begin to move from one place to the other. Just like David was running about. He was running about. But today, God will defeat them in Jesus' name. Amen. So they make challenges to prolong in people's life because they supply information. They are so dangerous because they will come near you and parade as friends and parade as well-meaning colleagues and parade as well-meaning family members and parade as well-meaning friends only to extract information from you, confidential information about your life, about your progress, about your plans, and everything. Even the one you have not shared with your, bosom, with your partner, you will share it with them. And then they will, you know, from there, they take it to the enemy. That's why it's, before you start the business, they have already mounted roadblocks. You have not started. Roadblocks have been there. Because before you even started, you have told satanic informants. So when you now start, the thing God has shown you and I say it will prosper, you now meet with big walls. But God says you go and do this thing. Why is everything hard? Everything is hard because you have given information ahead and they have gone to mount barriers ahead. But today, the Lord will give us victory. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. So they make battles very fierce that should not be. They make people to come short of their blessings, come short of their breakthroughs. And it appears as if God is not hearing their prayers. God is hearing. God is hearing. Was God not with David? He was with him. He was the one that anointed him. But the informant made life miserable for him. You know? There are the reasons at times why marriage is prolonged. Getting married becomes a tough ordeal. Having children becomes a tough ordeal. Breaking through becomes a tough ordeal. Even as children of God. Because, not because God is not capable. Not because God is, has not promised. Not because he's not able to make his promise uh, to come to pass. Not because he cannot uh, make, uh, 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 bring to pass what he has spoken. But the activities of the informants make prolong the steps, prolong the process, made the battle, make, it made coming to be king uh, for David to be prolonged. Praise God. So how do we defeat satanic informants? How do we defeat them? What are the things we need to do? 
in order to overcome satanic informant. Number one, you have to be spiritually sensitive. You have to be what? Yes, you have to be spiritually sensitive. We are not saying that you should become what? Um, suspicious. No. No, but be spiritually what? Sensitive. Let your spiritual alerts, antenna, let them be what? Sharp. To pick information. Just like David was. Be spiritually sensitive. Be spiritually sensitive. I won't say more than that. Number two, do not always make public your strategic plans and every progress you are making. Did you hear what I've said? Do not always make public your strategic plans and every what progress that you are making. Don't make everything public. Don't make everything public. Don't put everything on Facebook and Twitter. Ah, I'm moving forward. I'm hitting six digits. Amen. It can become a mirage. Praise God. Be very strategic. Don't always make public your strategy plans and every progress. Take note of what I said. Every progress. Praise God that you are making. Don't always. Some, yeah, when the eggs have already been what? Hatch. There's nothing they can do again. But they don't count your chicken before they are hatched. Amen. You have a local chicken. She's it's laid um, number of eggs, and you are and it's incubating, and you are going there to do like this. In fact, if you have bred chicken before, like I have done, when they see they are coming, they are coming here, they won't hatch all the eggs. They will hatch few and abandon the remaining. You touch one there, while they are incubating, they won't. They will push it aside. Praise God. So you don't count your chicks before they are what? They are hatched. Be strategic. Okay? Number, the third one. Pray for revelation of activities of the enemy against your life. Pray for revelation of activities of the enemy against your life. Let God show you. We don't always pray such prayer. We say you should not bother about the enemy. We just hold on to God. It is true. But if you go and read about warfare in the Bible, how that the Lord led them. He will always ask them to go and spy. Go and spy the land. God was the one who not a uh, man. Was it that he was not capable? No. Your information is power. So the enemy spies you. Why would you spy the enemy? Ask God to reveal to you operation of the enemy around you. So if they are informant, they will tell you this one is an informant too. So don't divulge your information. Praise God. The fourth one, Always inquire your ways and actions from the law. Always do what? Inquire your ways and actions before the law, from the law. That was what built out um, David. He said, God, I have come to this Kaila. We saw come after me here. So I said, God said, he will come. Okay, this Kaila, I fought for them. I, made, I rescued them from the hands of their enemies. They owe me a lot of um, gratitude. Will they deliver me to Saul? Won't they fight for me? God say, eh? <laughs> when you Saul comes here, you're on your own. No, these people, they will deliver you. Despite the fact that uh, you have done them good. Immediately they will have that. He packed these things and ran. So we should always inquire. Some of us say, ah, he's my friend now. He can't deny me. Ah, he's my brother. In fact, he did this, he did that. We were this together. Ah, sorry. They will be like people of Kaila. Praise the name of the Lord. Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. It says, trust in the Lord with all thine heart. And lean not what? On your own understanding. That is, don't lean. It doesn't mean you can't use understanding, but subject it to God. He says, in all thy what? Ways. Verse 6. Acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. So we are saying, always inquire from God. This thing I want to do. God said, don't do it. Oh. Information has gone to headquarters. Satanic headquarters that you are coming. So change strategy. Praise God. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Then next is to pray to defeat activities of satanic informants. Pray to do what? Activities of satanic informants. But if you pray to defeat the activities and you are not tactful, you know, you will just be praying wasted prayers. Pray to defeat activities of whom? Satanic informants. Then pray to paralyze Satanic informants. 
pray to paralyze them so that they won't be able to do any work of uh, information. They will see, they won't be able to talk. We don't be seen. We make them to be like toothless bulldog, you know? And then a bulldog that has no teeth, has no claws, we just be praying, playing with the head. Amen. It has become a toy, a doll. And finally, pray to get rid of um, satanic informants. There are some that you really have to get rid of them are from around you. Some you can't get rid of them. Pray that they should be paralyzed. Praise the name of the Lord. So that's why we are here today. We have the word of God in Job 5, 12 to 3. Job chapter 5, 12 to 3. It says, He God disappointed what? The vices of the crafty, so that their hands cannot perform the enterprise. In verse 13, he says, He taken the wise in their own craftiness. You know, those informants, they always think they are wise. But God will take them their own craftiness. He said, The counsel of the forward is carried headlong. In Psalm 21, Psalm 21, verses 11 to 12, the word of God for us. Psalm 21, 11 to 12. It says, For they intended evil against thee. They imagined a mischievous what? Device. Which they are not able to perform. God will not allow them to be able to perform it. Yeah. That mischievous device to sell you out, to come and hear from you and give to enemy, they won't be able to do it. Yeah. They won't be able to perform it. Verse 12 says, Therefore shall thou make them turn their back when thou shalt make ready their what? Thy arrows upon thy strings against the face of them. Many of them who want to come and hear from you confidential things to say to enemy, God will fire arrow at them. He will release his arrows at them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let's rise to our feet to talk to God. We must overcome satanic informants. We must overcome them. Let's begin to thank God for what we have heard. Say, Father, I thank you for what my ears have heard this morning. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Father, for opening my eyes, opening my understanding. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Say, O oh Lord, my Father. Shine your light upon my life and upon my ways in the name of Jesus. Shine your light upon my life and upon my ways in the name of Jesus. Shine your light, O oh Lord. Shine your light, O oh Lord, upon my life and upon my ways. Lord, shine your light. Lord, shine your light upon my life and upon my ways. Shine your light, O oh Lord. When there is light, you will see people in their proper perspective. You will see a rat as a rat. You will see a mouse as a mouse. You will see a bird as a bird. If somebody is a dual personality, you will see the person. When the light of God is shown, yes, shine your light. Shine your light. Shine your light. Shine your light. Makaso Kariaba Shanda. Shine your light, O Lord. Shine your light, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, shine your light. Oh Lord, shine your light. In the name of Jesus. Shine, 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 shine your light, Lord. Shine your light, O Lord. Shine your light, O Lord. Shine your light, O Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, O Lord, my Father, concerning satanic informants, show me your mercy. Show me your mercy, O Lord. Concerning satanic informants, show me your mercy. Show me your mercy. Show me your mercy. Show me your mercy. Show me your mercy, O Lord. Show me your mercy, Father. Concerning satanic informants. Show me your mercy. Show me your mercy. In the name of Jesus. Show me your mercy. Show me your mercy. Concerning satanic informants. Lord, show me your mercy. Lord, show me your mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. By your mercy, O Lord. Reveal to me any satanic informant around me. And when the Lord reveals to you, don't go and tell him or her that I have seen you. O. Amen. You may not say anything again. Praise God. Say, O Lord, my Father. 
by your mercy, reveal to me any satanic informant that is hovering around me, that is operating around me in the name of Jesus. Open my eyes, O oh Lord. Reveal to me satanic informant that is around me in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, reveal to me. Open my eyes and reveal. Open my eyes and reveal any satanic informant that is operating around me in the name of Jesus that is attached to my life. Lord, open my eyes. Open my eyes and reveal to me any satanic informant that is attached to my life that has been assigned against my life, that is operating against my life. Oh Lord, your mercy. Reveal, reveal, reveal. Expose. In Jesus' name we pray. Some of us have to take this prayer because they have been so close that they have blinded some people that they can't see. They have been so close that even when God has shown to some people, say, no, this is the enemy. Using my bosom friend, my helper, wants to show my helper, wants to drive away my helper from me. Amen. He's giving you five naira and he's taking 500 naira from you. He's giving you five naira. And he's ensuring that you don't rise forever. Say, oh Lord, my father. Oh Lord, my father. Any, veil, any veil. Any evil veil. Any evil veil that satanic informants have, have cast upon me. That I may not see them. Oh Lord, oh Lord, remove it now. Oh Lord, remove it now. Remove it now. In the name of Jesus. Any satanic veil. And that, that informants have cast upon me. That I will not be able to recognize them. That I will not see them. Oh Lord, remove it. 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 Remove the veil. Remove the veil. Remove the veil. Whatever veil that is covering my eyes. Covering my vision. Not allow me to see. Satanic informants. Operating against my life. Oh Lord, remove it. Oh Lord, remove it. Oh Lord, remove it. Oh Lord, remove it. Remove the coverings, Lord. Karaba hantaraba baba kasuda. In Jesus' name we pray. Say in your mercy, O Lord. Unmask satanic informants that is operating as a friend or a helper. That is operating as a well-wisher around me. Oh Lord of mask. Any satanic informant that is operating as a well-wisher around me. Under whatever canopy. As a friend, as a colleague, as a helper, as a relative, as a brother, as a sister. Oh Lord unveil. Unveil the mask. Remove their mask, Lord. Remove what they are being to cover. In the name of Jesus. Unveil, oh God. Satanic informant. Masquerading as friends. Masquerading as helpers. Masquerading as well-wishers. Around me. Oh Lord, unveil. Micah, Ruaba, Kinderebo, Shinta. Unveil, 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 unveil. Unveil, 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 unveil. Masquerading satanic informants. Hovering around me. Operating as a friend. Operating as friends. Operating as helpers. Operating as well wishers. Rabo Shekeriaba. In Jesus' name we pray. May I tell you one thing? We have had very many cases of satanic informants. They escort people to a place of prayer. There are people that the Lord will bring to receive help from the ministry. And before you know it, somebody will begin to inquire because they have taken note from the realm of the spirit that some things are changing. Say, ah, my friend, ah, I can see changes in you. Ah, God is hearing your prayer. Ah, where are you going yourself? So that we can also come and pray. And say, ah, I will take you there. I will take you there. Some people, once they bring them down to the place, they will hinder them from coming henceforth. I tell you the truth. They won't be able to come again. Except we, they are prayed for. 
And some will even tell them they want to come, they want to see that they are pastor. And some will come around to want to see us, want to size you up, to know whether they can also, um, they can talk to you and say, that person is our mito. Amen. So once they come, the Lord exposes them. So they come, they come to place of meeting. Amen. I'm not saying anyone that um, is saying, please take me for prayer. It's an informant too. Hear me and hear me well. Praise the name of the Lord. Don't misquote me. Oh. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Say your mercy, O oh Lord. Lord. Reveal to me. What is attracting satanic informant to my life? Reveal to me. In the name of Jesus. Reveal to me what is attracting satanic informant to my life. Is there any sin? Is there any iniquity? Is there any offense that is attracting them to my life? To come and sell me out? Lord, reveal to me. What is it that is attracting them? What is it that is making their operation to prosper? Reveal to me, Lord. Reveal to me, Lord. Reveal to me, Lord. What is attracting satanic informants to my life? What is selling me out to them? What is making their oppressions in my life to prosper? Lord, reveal it to me. In the life of David, they didn't prosper. God always delivered David. In some people's life, they have prospered. They have aborted testimony severally. They have made people come short of their deliverance. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, oh Lord, my Father, forgive me of sins and iniquities. Forgive me also of offenses. For myself, for myself or for my foundation, for my foundation. that could allow satanic informants to prosper. Oh Lord, Lord, forgive me. Forgive me in the name of Jesus. Let's open our mouth and talk to God. In Jesus' name we are praying. What do you think? Assuming David had offended the Lord, would God have been guiding him to get out? No. He will inquire God with no answer. Assuming he was meant to suffer, he was meant to be killed by Saul, God wouldn't have um, bothered. That's why in some people's cases, they escape. Some don't escape. Some people's testimony have been aborted continually for years through the activity of the satanic informant. Why some people have been escaping? Some have, have been escaping. Say, oh Lord, my father, Whatever sin or iniquity, whatever offense from my foundation that is by my parents, my ancestors, from my land, or from myself that will allow the activities to prosper. Oh Lord, forgive me. Oh Lord, forgive me. Forgive me, oh Lord, my Father. Forgive me, oh Lord, my Father. Forgive me. Since I iniquities that will allow the activities to prosper. Father, forgive me. Lord, forgive me. Since I iniquity sponsoring them into my life, into my ministry, into my marriage. Lord, forgive. Lord, forgive. Forgive me your mercy, Lord. Offenses that have been allowing the activities to prosper. Oh, Lord, forgive me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I, I mention your name. I, I renounce. I, renounce. I, reject, I reject. And I disclaim myself, I disclaim myself from, any from any transaction. From any activity. From any, activity, from any, involvement, from any involvement. Sponsoring satanic informants. Sponsoring satanic informants into, my into my life. I renounce it. I reject it 
I separate from it. I renounce it. I reject it. I separate from it. I renounce it. I reject it. I separate from it. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Say, oh Lord, my Father, according to your word, disappoint and frustrate activities of satanic informants in any area of my life. Oh Lord, disappoint. Oh Lord, frustrate activities of satanic informants concerning any area of my life, concerning my finance, concerning my marriage, concerning the work of my hands, concerning my ministry. Oh Lord, disappoint. Oh Lord, frustrate. Oh Lord, disappoint. Oh Lord, frustrate the activities in the name of Jesus. Disappoint and frustrate, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Disappoint and frustrate. Disappoint and frustrate. Disappoint and frustrate. Disappoint and frustrate. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, disappoint. Oh Lord, frustrate. Oh Lord, disappoint. Oh Lord, frustrate. In the mighty name of Jesus. Disappoint and frustrate activities of satanic informants. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. I'm going to pray. Say, Oh Lord, my Father. Help me to be tactful. Not to reveal the secret of my life. To satanic informants. You know, some people will ask you, once they see you like this, are you traveling? You say, yes, I'm traveling. When are you traveling? When are you coming back? How are you going? Is it by air or by... I'm not saying everybody that asks is an informant too. I'm just telling you. You know, David took a prayer in Psalm 141, verse 3. Look at the prayer that he prayed there. Psalm 141, Verse number three. Because you, we cannot be too careful. And then we can't be suspicious. We are children of God. We can't be afraid. Yet, we must be careful. But not too careful. Praise God. But look at the prayer of David. Psalm 141 verse What did he say? Set a watch. Set what? A watch. O oh Lord, before my mouth. Keep the doors of my That is God. What I must not say, let me not say it out. What I must not say out, let me not say it out. Praise God. Yes, that let me not suffer from, uh, yes, Baba Daria. The man will just be running. Even before they say, what? You, say, you have said water. <laughs> Praise God. He asked the Lord to heal you of Baba Daria. Amen. So we're going to take the prayer of David now. That is how to pray that you should not reveal your secrets to satanic informants. Say, oh Lord, my Father. Set a watch before my mouth. Keep the door of my lips. Because you don't know who is who. You don't know who is showing mercy sincerely and who is showing mercy with evil motive. So, and they are saying mercy, oh Lord, praise God. But some say mercy, oh Lord, and yelling at you at your back. Praise God. But once you pray, God will show you mercy. Yeah. Say, oh Lord, my Father. Oh Lord, my Father. According to Psalm 141, verse 3. Set a watch before my mouth. Keep the door of my lips. That is when you make God. God is the one that will open it and close it. When you want to open it and you not open it, we will close it. He will make you to forget to say it. And once it happens like that, you wanted to tell somebody something. You saw the person, you forgot. You made up your mind again to go and tell the person. You got there, you forgot. The third time, say, I forgot. You, the third time again, you made the effort to say it. You got there, you forgot. Shouldn't you know that God is holding you back? You will still want to say it, shall? The Lord will have mercy. Say, oh Lord, my Father. Set a watch before my mouth. Keep the door of my lips. In the name of Jesus. Set a watch before my mouth, O Lord. Keep the doors of my lips. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
Lord, set a watch, Father. Set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth. Keep the doors of my lips. Let me not reveal my secrets to satanic informants. What I must not say, let me not say it. What I must not say out, let me not say out, O God. What I must not make public, let me not make it public. Lord, help me to be tactful. Help me to be tactful, O God. Let me not reveal the secrets of my life to satanic informants. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name we are praying. Am I saying you, are, you can't tell people information about your life? No. Have you taken him? Have you taken him? Since you got married. How many months? When is your EDD? Yes. There are people you can say it to. There are people you can say it. There are people you can't say it to. That's the truth. It doesn't mean you can't say it. But there are people that what? You can say it to. Very few. If you are not sure of his just status of somebody, hold the door of your lips. Amen. Ah, I'm asking you so that I can be praying for you. It's a lie. <laughs> Praise God. You say thank you. You change the topic. Change the topic. Praise God. The Lord will set a watch before your mouth. The Lord will help us to keep the doors of our lips. In the name of Jesus, Amen. you will not reveal the secret of your life to satanic informants. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. we still have three more prayers to take. Say, Oh Lord, my Father, oh Lord, my Father. expose and disgrace activities of satanic informants in any area of my life. In the name of Jesus, expose and disgrace activities of satanic informants. In any area of my life, Makasi Kapuria Basita, exposed and disgrace activities of satanic informants in every area of my life. Jesus, then we pray. When your, like your Bible say, when your tuba of yam is just growing, you do what? You cover it. Yes. Otherwise, the road then will come and take it. Somebody has just broken through in marriage. And you have a lot of people who are trusting God for such things. There are good well wishers who will be happy with you, who will celebrate you, and they will rejoice from their heart with you. Very many. But we have satanic informants. And they will come. Has the guy shown up? Yes, so how is the guy? Is he handsome? Yes. In fact, very tall. And from there, you begin to give statistics. He's from this town. This is his work. This is what he does. In fact, this is what he has promised to buy for me. He say, eh, eh, what else did he promise? And the person will begin to suffer from Baba diarrhea. Begin to give all the details. And after a while, the guy say, I, I don't think I want to continue with the relationship, self. At times, it's not as if God did not bring him. Satanic informants have supplied information. They have gone to mount war that you cannot, greater than you can attack. And they will make it, except you can mount counter-attack again. You may lose him. Praise God. So, you tread carefully. You tread carefully. They said the person that they are bringing wife to does not what? Does not steer. Uh -huh. You tread carefully. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Tell your neighbor, say he to cancel. Oh. <laughs> say don't be too wise. Oh. <laughs> say don't be too smart. Oh. <laughs> say don't invite unnecessary warfare. Oh. <laughs> say satanic influence, they are there. Oh. <laughs> say but God will give you victory. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. We are going to take that prayer again. Say, O oh Lord, my Father. 
concerning the activities of satanic informants. As I'm going to jam my hands together. <laughs> prophetically. <laughs> you say, let them be exposed and be disgraced. So as you begin to jam your hands, you'll be saying, be exposed, be disgraced. Be exposed, be disgraced. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Say, concerning the activities. Of satanic informants. In any of my life. Of my life as I'm going to jam my hands together. <laughs> prophetically. In the name of Jesus. Be exposed. Be disgraced. 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 Yes. Be exposed. Be disgraced. As you jam your hands together. God will expose them. God will disgrace them. Be disgraced. In the name of Jesus. Be exposed. Be disgraced. Be exposed. Be disgraced. Be exposed. Be disgraced. Be exposed. Be disgraced. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say every unrepentant satanic informant. Take note of the word unrepentant. Amen. Every unrepentant satanic informant. Every unrepentant satanic informant. Parading himself or herself in the affairs of my life. Parading himself or herself in the affairs of my life. As I'm going to jam my hands together. <laughs> Prophetically. Prophetically. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Be exposed, be wasted. 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 Be wasted, be wasted. Be exposed, 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 by the time they came back after a while, they became sick and died. We have had cases of people immediately after the family introduction, everything went the other way. And that's why this, I don't know, people like a lot of, um, you know, ordinary introduction, not, um, not engagement. The whole world must know. Introduction. Praise God. God will have mercy on us. And the church is also following. Amen. The Lord will have mercy on us. Amen. Say activities of, of satanic informants. Activities of satanic informants. That have been prospering in my life. That has been prospering in my life. As I'm going to jam my hands together. As I'm going to jam my hands together. Prophetically. Prophetically. In, the in the name of Jesus. Terminate. 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 Pakose Karia Bashita. Terminate, 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 because terminate. Yes, Lord. Let the activity be terminated. Makose Kaporia Bashita. Terminate, 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 terminate. Come to an end. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Two more prayers. Say, Oh Lord, my Father. Oh Lord, my Father. By power, by fire. By power, by fire. Deliver me. Deliver me. As you deliver David. As you deliver David. From the activities of satanic informant. From the activities of satanic informant. When you are selling one whole time, you will say, Oh Lord, deliver me. Oh Lord, deliver me. Say, Oh Lord, my Father. Oh Lord, my Father. Deliver me. Deliver as you deliver David from the activities of satanic informants in the name of Jesus. 
Oh Lord, deliver me. 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 Me, what you are saying? Cry to God. He will deliver you. Oh Lord, deliver me. 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 Magasoka Poria Bashita. Lord, deliver me. Activities of satanic informants. Oh Lord, deliver me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Final prayer. Say, Oh Lord, my Father, recover and restore to me whatever I could have lost through the activities of satanic informants. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, recover for me. Oh Lord, restore to me whatever I could have lost. Through the activities, the activities of satanic informants. Oh Lord, recover. Oh Lord, restore. 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 Oh Lord, restore. Oh Lord, recover. Oh Lord, restore. Oh Lord, recover. Oh Lord, restore. Recover and restore. Whatever I could have lost. Marriage that I lost. Fruitfulness that I lost. Opportunities that I lost. Recover blessings that I lost, breakthroughs that I lost. Oh Lord, recover and restore. Recover and restore, oh Lord. Recover and restore, oh Lord. Recover and restore. Recover and restore. Oh Lord, 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 recover and restore. Recover and restore. Recover and restore, Lord. Recover and restore. Recover and restore, Lord. Recover and restore, Lord. Recover and restore, Lord. Recover and restore, Lord. My Kakuaria Bashita. Recover and restore, Lord. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Let your amen sound like thunder. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. We thank you because you have done it already. Lord, we are making declaration for you to put a seal over what you have done. Therefore, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray and I declare activities of satanic informants in the lives of your sons and daughters, your servants, your handmaidens, today they terminate in the name of Jesus. Let their activities cease in the name of Jesus. You say you disappoint the the, the, you take the wicked in their own devices you disapp so that they, you disappoint them in their own devices so that they cannot perform their enterprise. The devices of satanic informant. Let them be disappointed in the name of Jesus. Take them in their own craft in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray the prayer of the psalmist. Set a watch before our mouth, Lord. Keep the doors of our lips, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, for some of us, we are not even the ones that say it. It's our parents. They will say everything about their children. What their children have not started, they will tell. Satanic informants. And they will introduce warfare to their children. We pray also concerning our parents, our grandparents, our loved ones. Lord, keep the doors of their mouth in the name of Jesus. Amen. Keep a word at the doors of their mouth. Amen. Set the doors by their lips, Lord. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. We pray the information about our lives that satanic informant have given to our enemies. Father, use that information to confuse them. Amen. Let the information confuse them. Amen. Let them not be able to prosper with the information in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for you, any unrepentant satanic informant hovering around you, let such person be exposed and wasted in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let the Lord open your eyes. Let him reveal to you who is who. Amen. Let the spiritual status of those who are around you be exposed. Amen. I pray for you. Masquerading satanic informants. Pretending to be friends, well wishers, colleagues, wherever they may be. Let God unmask them in the name of Jesus. 
Any veil covering your eyes that you will not see, let the Lord remove the veil in the name of Jesus. Today, today, whatever you could have lost, the Lord restores to you. The Lord restores marriage. The Lord restores fruitfulness. The Lord restores blessings. Restores progress. Restores advancement. Restores your breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. From today, the activities will not prosper in your life. Thank you, Heavenly Father. You will no longer reveal your secret to satanic informants. So shall it be. In Jesus' name, it is settled. And amen in Jesus' name. God bless you.